if you want to make a quick and easy art journal page, this video is definitely for you. It's Asha Marke here, Lemon Creation. Please stay tuned. Let's make another page. Which one, which one? I wanted to make a little bit maybe this one. So let's do this one. I'll put that away so like that I have more flatter surface. And for this one, I have already a plan. My plan is to be using a tissue paper. So I have here my packet with all the scraps from tissue paper. There is a lot. I see there is steam holes which get here by accident, but doesn't matter. This is not bad already. Uh, it's this side actually. This is a piece of tissue paper from uh, Paper Artsy. It's in a bad state, but that's the thing, or that's the beauty about tissue paper that actually, even if it's done like that, like completely creased, and I got it like that because, uh, you know, it was. Uh, added to the envelope for the envelope to keep the shape it was just squeezed like that uh, but the beauty of it is that uh, once you place it on the paper it's uh, the creases will disappear paper artsy is packing i think packing is a good word uh, the orders in this sort of tissue paper it's the tissue with uh, paper artsy stamps beautiful designs beautiful things so you have script, you have some weird things and not so weird, a little bit vintage -y. a lot of uh, things to add to your, uh, to your, oh, creations. <laughs> and this is the part collage, which I add here. And they now started doing another tissue paper. I think you can buy them also, but if you buy from their uh, side directly, from their shop directly, you will get uh, you will get it normally with your order. But just to be sure, you can always buy and, you know, be, be sure that you have it. And so this one is the frames, it's called the frames. And gorgeous also. And so I'm gonna use this one, but I'm thinking I'm gonna add some words to it. Let's go like that. And normally I wouldn't cut uh, anything from the tissue paper with the scissors because that's also the beauty of the tissue paper. When it's torn, it looks much, much better. But since I am in the middle of the paper, I'm gonna cut it like that. And as I said to you guys, I'm sorry, I'm making a noise. The grander, the better, <laughs> as always. So basically that's what I would do. And what would I do now? Okay, I'm gonna leave this bad boy here. It's a little bit too long, so I'm gonna remove this, pa uh, this piece. And so that's why I have also this pocket. If I have small pieces, well, this one is super small, but if I have a little bit bigger pieces and I like them, I will keep them for a future use. And so, this one can go here and here I'll put a little bit of that but I find that it's too big so let's make it a little bit shorter like that okay I would like that it's actually maybe like that okay and I think this is gonna be my last page for today's video because I don't like doing too long videos because I'm thinking that you just we don't have that much time and our attention span is uh, is getting smaller and smaller I think and uh, yes I just don't want to take all, up all of your time and just uh, do things look that, at that guys this is just gorgeous because you actually cannot see anymore that it, this was a tish, tish, ah, la, la, la. <laughs> that this was a tissue paper it's actually it melted with the background, especially when you have a little bit of grungy background, you know, it just goes so beautifully. Look at that after drying. It's gonna just look like that. And this is also a good thing to remember when you are adding tissue paper, add some uh, mud gel or I know that some of you are using tacky glue, I think, or uh, some other type of glue. And I also do it. 
I could probably use just the school glue like uh, normal glue but it's good to actually add a little bit on the um, uh, paper on the background and then just pass with the glue over the tissue so like that you will be sure that you can later after drying draw on it and do like paint on it and it's not gonna get broken like no it's not this one look guys i made a mistake wanted to ask uh, to add the big bag and by the way of course i put it a little bit uh lopsided i think that's the word but well it's gonna be like it's gonna be how are you doing my baby ah my son is doing uh, silly things apparently uh, let's think if I'm gonna add maybe also a number a big number here yes I think I'm gonna add it just kind of join those two pieces together and probably add it here yep And I need to dry it quickly because I am impatient, so I'm not gonna wait until it air dries. So as you can see, this one is completely uh, lopsided. This one is also lopsided. I think this there is still a tiny bit of glue which didn't dry correctly. And I wanted to do a frames. This one is too small. Okay, let's go with maybe this. Not sure. Ah, no. I'm actually gonna use my new thing. Uh, this is a, a thingy which you use for, uh, I don't know, making marks when you are sewing. But you can also use it for mixed media. <laughs> and there is another one, another tool like that. It's uh, a little bit bigger. It's actually for making um, raviolis which I use because in Poland we do a lot of raviolis which are called pierogi and uh, I make uh, raviolis with that or uh, either or other kind of uh, sweet treats it's just to cut the mm, you know the dough but this one is perfect to make just kind of these uh, marks yes perfect for this type of mar ma mark makings. I have my hand which is shaking, super. And the only thing is that you have to actually put quite a lot of paint so it works. It does not always work as I would like it to work. Once again, I'm happy to be a grungy crafter. because for me it doesn't matter that my lines are not perfect it really doesn't ah, really some of them are very unperfect guys um i really would like you um to leave me a feedback about what i'm doing uh, about the way i'm filming maybe about uh, i don't know even my shop or what should i have it in it all type of feedback i would appreciate so much because i have to tell you i am a little bit lost uh, of course you have to clean that very well and very quickly and yes as i said uh, this kind of feedback is uh, very important to me so if videos like this one like today's one is something you prefer or you prefer if I do a voiceover if you like me also to make a videos when I am filming from different sites uh, and uh, what would you like to see in my shop um, really things like that they are so important to me so I'm always waiting for your feedback I know you don't have too much time and you have other things to think about but if you find a tiny bit of time and you can just spare it for me I would so appreciate that and guys, the last piece of this puzzle will be the words. I am having a mess on my desk suddenly, which is nothing new. I'll clean it afterwards. I've noticed that uh, if I don't clean, 
the desk I cannot work on other projects to work on other projects I have to have clean desk and because I have a lot of black here I will not use this type of uh, this type of uh, words on the on the book paper but I'd rather use something like that will I use that's gonna be too white so no it's not gonna work in this case but uh, best would be to find something um, something on the black uh, background and that's what's happened with my uh, words which I make I actually make every word every sentence on both backgrounds so you're gonna find for example no comment you're gonna find on white background and on the black background so you can choose depending on the page you are making will I make this one here like that and should I put it here or rather here I would like to attach it a different way and I'm not sure how I'm gonna try to put it around I've never done that. We'll see if that makes any sense. Just kind of put it around and I glue this part so it stays in place at the back. And maybe we'll do it like that. Okay, so I'll do it like that. I'll add a little bit more glue to hold it in place. Put it here. So it kind of overlaps the numbers because I find it's uh, nicer like that instead of putting everything, you know, far away from other elements. And well, let's just cut the paper. The paper. <laughs> let's just cut the thread like that. Have to kind of wait until it glues. And I find that it looks like a duck a little bit. To make the things even more funky, I'm gonna make one longer and <laughs> and one shorter. Oh no, no. Look guys, here we go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. They are very silly pages. Uh, I mean, very silly, very easy, most of all. I wanted to do a video like that also because I know um, they are not only... Uh, they are also beginners who are watching me, as, at least I think. And I think uh, it's not about all the time making uh, very complicated pages. It's also about making uh, pages for everyone and uh, easy, you know, without just uh, overthinking, just enjoying really the whole process and just leave it, leaving it uh, as it is. And I found that these small art journals and Zine, they are perfect for it because you do it quickly you do it it's up the point you take like five minutes for one page you don't have to make complicated things you don't have to put a lot of texture uh, i haven't even used stencil for any uh, of those pages maybe i will use but with stencil you always have to kind of dry the paste or wait until it dries it kind of gets bulky and all of that so i prefer to leave it like that and I find it that the whole idea is very nice and it just very quick and very zen so that's why I'm doing it and so quick look through the book I have a lot of pages which are not done yet and um, to make these journals I just use A4 a piece of mixed media paper and I add on both sides I add the acrylics uh, I usually add them with the brayer they that works for me the best and and just later cut it so like that you know you get these small surprises you don't know how the pages are gonna look like and they usually look much better when they are cut into small pieces than they look when they are actually the proper big size and so yes until here we have nothing yes Yes, that's the very first page we made today. And then again, nothing. that's the spots, the spray splatter 
thingy I showed you. And then I have this page. It's a lot about hearts. <laughs> it's gonna be a San Valentine journal. Not this part, no. <laughs> and then this page. And that's it. Uh, the end, I left it like that. I just put the date and I'm thinking about adding some title here, but for now I haven't done that yet. So I leave it like that. Why not? So that's kind of a bonus part of this video. If you are still here, I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, like a beads and elastic to the whole project. I have a black elastic I'm gonna use for that. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'll put it uh, around the spine three times and I'm making a knot, but now I'm gonna make another knot on this one this way. So I hope the two the two ends of elastic will actually fall nicely to the bottom instead of just going into different directions, one to the bottom, one to the top. I'll wait guys, because I cannot manage to. Yes, okay, perfect. And now let's see if I can do, oh, this one is, oh, it's going like that. It's not bad actually. I'm gonna make those two parts or those two uh, threads uneven. Okay, I decided decided to put two different uh, bits on each uh, each thread. It's elastic actually on each end of the elastic because I kind of wanted to be a little bit, you know, off one side and the other. is way too long so I'm gonna just cut it like that okay just gonna leave it like that <laughs> look at that guys this is so cool so this is it I don't have to use the clip anymore if I don't want to I may want to it's just I'm gonna be removing that uh, I also probably could do that if I put it twice yes look guys <laughs> it's nice also I like if I twist it. Let's let me twist it. Will I if I twist it will this go back like that? Look! Ha! Oh, this is <laughs> such a fun you can just do whatever you fancy doing. I think you've seen what I've done. I think I might have been a little bit off the camera, so I just put it like that twice. Then I twist it here and then I put it like that and it's elastic so you know you can work your magic and it's so nice so those are my two books I hope uh, you enjoy this uh, kind of weird for me movie but it was nice to talk to you also and it was nice to be uh, beside my uh, son and do the project while he is uh, here and uh, Yes, so uh, I'm waiting for your comments. I'm wondering uh, what you think about it. And if you feel a little bit uh, lost, if you are missing uh, like mo mojo, uh, try things like that. Try simple things really with just minimum uh, of uh, work and minimum of uh, elements, minimum of products. It's also good for all of you who are on the budget, but it's also good for all of you who are too stressed and it just doesn't manage to, to make, to come up with a very complicated artwork. And as I said to you, the artwork is not about being perfect, being super complicated. The artwork is for me about you being just with yourself uh, and being calm and just making something which you are happy with and uh, which can give you a little bit of break from the hectic life and those books are just example of that i'm sending you guys big kisses thank you so much for supporting me for uh, 
um, uh, pressing the subscribe button and notification button and uh, please visit my shop it will uh, even if you don't make a purchase i will be so happy that uh, you at least seen what i'm making and maybe you can give me a feedback why you didn't make a purchase and have a beautiful beautiful day sending you big kisses big hugs bye bye